hi guys. I just wanted to go over a couple things um, that we're going to do in math today on our I can statement. Um, so multiplication with arrays. We're going to be working on, you know, I can use arrays to model multiplication, right? So, ooh, I am like super hungry and I, oh, I'm, I could probably eat, hmm, I could probably eat like six donuts. Like no joke. One, two, three, four, five, six donuts, right? And so it doesn't matter if you've noticed with the array, I have six this way and I have six this way, right? So the order doesn't matter. Um, did you notice that they're arranged in rows and columns? Right? They are. They have rows that go left to right. How many rows are there? One, two, three. So they are in rows that go left to right. So I'm going to write a little three here, just to remind, my, remind myself there's three rows. And they're also arranged in columns, right? Rows, left, columns, rows, columns. So the rows go up and down. Um, and so how many rows, or we got three rows. Okay, how many columns do we have? Well, count with me. One, two, right? So we have two columns. And it got a little messy because I was circling as it, as we went, but really, you know, this is an, a really good array, right? So we have, do we have equal groups? Is it an arrangement of equal groups? Yeah, how many are in this row? Two. How many are in this row? Two. How many are in this row? Two. Ooh. So how would we write a multiplication fact to show what we just what we just did? Right? I said I was like so hungry I could eat, you know, like, oh my gosh, it's at least six donuts. Right? So I drew a three by two array. Three rows, two columns. So my multiplication sentence would reflect that. My multiplication sentence would show that I have three rows times, right? How many times, this is why it's called times, right? How many times do we have, um, let's see, donuts, right? In these groups, but we have two, columns, right? So it's three rows times two columns equals, we could we could solve this a couple ways. We could count by twos, two, four, six, right? That's our answer. Um, and so keep practicing that. Make sure you have at least a one example in your notebook. We're gonna go and talk some more about arrays and equal groups in class today. All right, good job guys. See you soon.